All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoka Tensai episode 21. I don't have anything to say for the start of this episode, but I'm very much looking forward to it. So, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> What the fuck? Who the fuck is this? What? That's no way to start an episode. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but what is likely now to come in this episode? Like, I just can't watch the rest of the episode without thinking like shit what is about to happen what the hell is that dragons holy crap that is just crazy i love it wow love seeing these two spar especially with this fluid animation Oh, Ellis is so good now. Holy crap. Still can't beat Rui Jed, but she's getting close. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, she definitely does. <laughs> that uh, yeah, that deserves a punch, you idiot. <laughs> oh, look at the hard work in those hands. <laughs> Rudy's just so scared. Neither two are like, oh my god, hurry up. Eris is so crazy, she's just gonna get really killed. <laughs> well, yeah, fighting dragons is clearly not easy, they're dragons. The technique god and the dragon god is number two. Wow, okay. Bro, what is it? Shit, is this what we saw at the start of the episode? Why are they so, like, stopped in the tracks? What do they sense that Rudy can't? Eris knows, but... What the fuck? Bro, what is going on? He doesn't know who he is. Yeah, he is scared shitless of him. What? Oh, Rudy, no. Orsted. Why are they so scared? Oh god. Is this answer gonna... Yeah, he has a son. I don't know what these guys sense, but it's like some killing... Aura or something, but... Rudy doesn't sense it. Oh. I feel like you do, my friend. <gasps> Why the hell did he just say that? Bro, no. What is going on? Oh my god, who the fuck is this guy? Bro, how is this happening so quickly? Oh, 
Oh my god. I have 7,000 questions. What is this? Really move. Dragon God. Oh my god, he's number two. Oh, Elias. Fuck. What did he just do to himself? What is that? I, I don't even know what to say right now. What is this? Rudy, what are you casting? Why is this happening? Why? What? Oh no. What the fuck? How, how is he going to even survive this? What? Don't you dare hurt Eris as well. Oh my god. Bro, you need to call on Mangod right now. Well, shit, he might be dead. There's a hole in his chest. Yeah, for real. Yeah, what the fuck? Why does him, him being an apostle... Why? You can't see any that what was going to happen? They, they all said he did mention that he hadn't met them yet. Three other curses too. But what's the curse that you're speaking about right now? Then why didn't... wasn't Rudy affected? Yeah, probably. Is he? Oh, the curse of the spears. Can you do anything about the situation right now, my friend? Bring him back to life. Yeah, exactly. That's what they've been trying to do. Oh. Knowing that he might actually be dead now. He's accepted that. Bro, holy crap. So Technico is less powerful. Wait. What? Oh, I'm so this I need to know exactly what this guy knows. He's not dead, is he? Yeah, you got very unlucky, bro. You shouldn't have mentioned Mango. There's gonna be a bot somewhere. Come on. <laughs> yes. I don't know how he's not dead, but what? How are you not dead? What's in his chest? Where is the Louis Jared okay? Your chest is healed. What? Nanahoshi. What did she say to him? Oh, Ruja, it's okay, good. 
Oh, Rudy. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. The world is not as extreme in matters of dying like this when Rudy speaks to God on the daily. But to Edis, it was so much different. Y'all are fucking lucky that none of you died. That man was scary strong. Alright, so that was Mashoko Tensai episode 21. That episode, straight from the beginning where we were shown the preview of what was going to happen. So that was kind of all we could really think about through the whole episode. We got 10 minutes of fun Mashoko Tensai, lighthearted, like, you know, usual stuff. And then this. And it just took me straight out of surprise. Like... The moment Ruja and Edis saw him, the curse obviously worked on them. And we were just hella confused as to why they just stopped, even though we could barely see anyone. For some reason, Rudy... I thought originally it was because they knew him, but then they didn't actually know who he was. And then he was speaking about they haven't met yet, which to me sounds like one of his curses, possibly. Don't know what it is, obviously, but something to do with the future or time or something like that. And like this guy, it's been a while since I've seen someone so overpowered, otherworldly strong that it was just like there was no chance the other side could win at all. And it was like almost terrifying, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, wow, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I think I spent half the episode saying what, to be honest. So I apologize about that. But um, yeah, I'm glad they're alive. There is so much more that we need to know now. The fact that they just met the number two in the world. They apparently met the strongest person in the world. Like, and he almost killed them. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode. I was not expecting that this week. I, obviously, I, Musha Katenta every week is just great, you know? But you don't think coming into this episode this week, you just, that you're going to see that. So, yeah, overall, a an, am an amazing episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day, and peace out.